Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to day six of our look at our favorite guitar teams in rock history, our rock guitar teams that we love. Two or more guys that worked well together in a big way, either both as spectacular lead players doing revolutionary things, or maybe one guy was the great lead player, the other guy was the great rhythm player, right? The, the, the riff man. Uh, so we're going to take a look at a team here. I had a really hard time picking uh, for this band because in my opinion that had two absolutely stellar legendary guitar teams it was one guy that was constant in both so i had to you know as far as like i think in the one team i might prefer one guy a little bit more than his predecessor but when i look at the output of uh, you know the albums that the first duo put together it's kind of hard to go against that so i will give mention to the other team but i'm going to go with first uh it's wishbone ash okay and I had the pleasure of uh, spending some time with Andy Powell this past weekend at Sea Tranquility Fall Fest. He did a nice little uh, session with me live on stage, which was really, really awesome. And uh, I've known Andy for a little while, but it was the first time I actually got to meet him one-on-one -on -one in person, which was really, really neat. And uh, he is, like I said, part of two great guitar teams in rock history, but it's his first team the original lineup of Wishbone Ash with Ted Turner that I'm picking today. And it's really hard not to pick this guitar duo, this guitar team, when you've got albums like the first self-titled Wishbone Ash album, which of course has Blind Eye and Lady Whiskey, Error of My Ways, uh, Queen of Torture, Handy, and Phoenix. I mean... When, when you're talking about a song like Phoenix, it's really hard not to pick this particular this particular guitar team here, man. Phoenix is just absolutely legendary. Both of these guys were just really, really terrific, terrific lead players, right? I mean, you've got uh, you know Andy mostly playing back then, and even to this day, mostly playing. Gibson Flying V guitars, but he has been known to play uh, Strats and Tellies, right? Uh, Ted Turner, mostly a Strat guy. So they have, you know, you can generally tell when they're playing leads. And like I said, these both these guys are really great lead players. And to, in my, for my money, this band is the band that really revolutionized the uh, twin harmony guitar thing. Uh, in, in a different way than the Allman Brothers did, because the Allman Brothers technically came a little bit before them, but they were doing it much, much more in a kind of blues, jazz, um, improv type of uh, framework, right? The early early days of Southern Rock, whereas I think that Wishbone Ash were doing it more in a pure rock fashion, uh, and I, I obviously the European style, right? So I think that's why that Wishbone Ash greatly influenced bands like Thin Lizzy, uh, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden and so on, whereas I think the uh, the Allman Brothers more influenced the bands from here in the U.S. Right, and specifically the whole Southern rock scene. But uh, but yeah, just amazing, amazing guitar interplay, so melodic, haunting, and you you get the run of the gamut on here. You get boogie on here, you get blues rock, you get hard rock, a little bit of folk, just absolutely spectacular stuff. Uh, they continue to work together. Do I have a picture of them anywhere? Yeah, here we go. Just yank this up. It's amazing, like, you know, meeting Andy nowadays and seeing Andy back in the day with all the hair. It's like, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But uh, here you have that. Is there anything else I can show you? Yeah. Yeah. Way back when, when they were all youngsters, man. Crazy. Uh, and, you know, here on the uh, the second album, Pilgrimage, you've got, of course, Foz Diz. you got The Pilgrim. you got Jailbait on here as well. Valediction, <coughs> another really solid record. Uh, their probably greatest album of all time, the one that they're most known for, is of course Argus. And then I talked quite a bit about this album on stage in Poughkeepsie a couple days ago. You know, this has uh, Time Was, Sometime World. Sometime World is one of my favorite songs from the band. Uh, you got Blowing Free, The King Will Come, Leaf and Stream, Warrior, I Have to Be a Warrior. Loads of riffs, lo dueling lead guitars, fantastic stuff. Throw Down the Sword, legendary, legendary album and that again mixes like hard rock and blues and jazz and folk and prog rock all in one. And then the last album that they would actually these two would actually do together and here they are uh, right here and right here actually no this 
actually right here and right here. Sorry, that's Martin Turner right there. Uh, so here you got these two guys right here and Mr. Upton in the middle. Um, and this is the uh, Wishbone 4, the last album they would do together. Uh, so many things to say. Ballad of the Beacon is a great majestic song. Uh, Doctor's Killer on here. Sorrel, Rock and Roll Widow. Again, good rock kind of boogie song. Absolutely terrific. And then, you know, the great live album, Live Dates. So this was kind of, kind of like Tokyo Tapes was kind of like the swan song for uh, Uli, John Roth, and Scorpions, right? Making way for the next uh, person to come take his place. Uh, live dates, in a way, uh, signaled kind of the almost the end of the era of the Ted Turner years to make way for Lori Weisfield. So um, here you got spectacular renditions of many of their classics. The King Will Come, Warrior, Throw Down the Sword, Rock and Roll Widow, Battle at the Beacon, uh, Baby What You Want Me to Do, an old Jimmy Reed song, The Pilgrim, Blowing Free, Jailbait, Lady Whiskey, and of course a scorching rendition of uh, perhaps my favorite Wishbone Ash song, which is uh, Phoenix, which has a just terrific, terrific Ted Turner guitar solo in it. Um, let's see if i got any pictures in here I can show you guys. Well, let me just... Again, uh, you can see the Strat and the Flying V in use there. Great, great stuff. Spectacular, spectacular. Nothing here's more. Hold on. If you haven't heard live dates, really, really good. But I do want to make mention uh, Lori Weisfield, or Weisfeld, I always kind of say it wrong. Uh, he replaced Ted Turner in this band, and I will say Lori and... Uh, Andy also produced some really, really spectacular albums. Maybe not quite the classic albums that these are, um, but if you ever get a chance, if you really want to kind of hear like a greatest hits live of the uh, the Andy and Lori era, go get Live Dates 2, okay? Live Dates 1, I just showed you Live Dates 2 for me. Uh, I think I even like Live Dates 2 better than Live Dates 1. And I think uh, Lori is a really, really fluid player, really, really talented. Could play, again, jazz and hard rock and blues and all that sort of thing. But I think he actually had overall more tricks in his arsenal than Ted did. I think Ted was a uh, you know a serious you know rock and blues guitar player and you know really fiery and emotional. But I think that Laurie was a little bit more of a technical player and could play all sorts of different styles. He could play like country and bluegrass and things like that and folk and stuff. But uh, yeah, but both legendary legendary lineups. And I did want to make mention of both. But the one I'm picking is the first Andy Powell and Ted Turner, Wishbone Ash. Uh, check out any of these albums to hear these two at their best. Great stuff. Whatever you want to call Wishbone Ass Music. Uh, hard rock, prog, blues rock. And like I said, they do it all. Folk rock. They do everything. So uh, one of the great, great bands of all time. So uh, that's my pick for today for day six. Andy Powell and Ted Turner. Let us know what you think of this duo down in the comments below. But also list your uh, favorite rock guitar team for day six in the comments below. And uh, visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. We also have down in the video description below, we've got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations and our merch page where you can get all sorts of great CA Tranquility stuff. Lots of different shirt designs and things, hats, hoodies, everything. Got all sorts of stuff, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for day seven. All right, so until uh, then, I am Pete Pardo. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.